Okay, so this man's getting ready to talk to another Stanford professor, uh, Andre Lin, and let him know that uh, they have supposedly conclusive evidence that Big Bang Theory uh, is not just a theory, but that uh, they, they have proven it. Uh, so we're going to see them celebrating what they believe is a milestone, but yet uh, the Bible says, in the beginning, God created. In the beginning, God created. Um, so I'm not really giving too much credence to uh, the information they believe that they have. While uh, they were not there at the beginning to be able to see uh, this. But we'll, 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 let's hear what he says and let's see how they react to this. Today I'm going to deliver a news to Professor Andre Linde, who is the founding father of inflation. So inflation is the theory about the bang of Big Bang. It explains why we have all this stuff in the universe. So today I'm going to tell him our experiment, BICEP2, based at South Pole, has found the smoking gun evidence of inflation. He has no idea that I'm coming. He's found the smoking gun evidence of inflation. He has no idea that I'm coming. For someone who looked like he has no idea he was coming, he sure looked, didn't look that surprised, um, him being right behind his wife when the door was being opened. But, I don't know, maybe that's just me. Wow, it's five sigma at point two. Discovery? Yes. What? <laughs> just a second. Can, 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 can you repeat it? Five sigma, as clear as day, are at point two. Can you repeat it again? Are point two plus minus point, point two? If you stop there. <laughs> We don't expect anybody, Renata tells it's probably some kind of delivery. Did you order anything? <laughs> yeah, I ordered it 30 years ago. <laughs> Finally, it arrived. Cheers, cheers. Congratulations. Congratulations. Oh my God, I'm going to on this. We are talking right now about the billions of a billions of a billions of a millions of a second after the Big Bang. So we see the face of the Big Bang. It is an image of these gravitational waves, which are purely quantum gravity feature uh, of what was produced in the Big Bang. So this is a remaining part of the story. Really they all there. They all three different experiments. Yes. If this is true, this is a moment of understanding of nature of such a magnitude that it just overwhelms uh, and let's see, let, let, let's just hope that it's not a trick. Mm. I always live with this feeling, uh, what if I'm tricked? What, what if uh, I, I believe into this just because it is beautiful? What if... Uh, yes. So this is really helpful <laughs> to have events like that. It's really, really helpful. Thank you so much. I don't know, but I, I believe God operates in science. And so if you want to believe in something, you should believe in the God that created everything. Um, I think you're chasing a rabbit hole trying to look at chance and chance creating everything that we have. Um, and, and so... He wants to believe in something, but for some reason, believing in a creator uh, that who's all powerful, who can create, uh, and maybe you're looking at his creation and his creative power, um, and that's what you're doing your mathematics about behind. Um, I would suggest you you put your efforts in there. Do you even consider that? That's not usually even an option for most. Thanks for doing it. Yeah.